Morning guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com and officially TrierWildernessAcademy.com. I'm going to wait a little bit here and see if a bunch of you can hop on. It is a beautiful, beautiful day today. It smells like spring. It feels like spring. It's finally spring. <laughs> we are down at the river again in town. You can see the, I think you can see the river behind me there. It is just a gorgeous day. Uh, thankful for that. <laughs> like I said, I'm in town. <laughs> Wait till that stops. I don't have a whole lot of time this morning. Um, the Mountain Boy has a meeting here in town, so that's why we are in here. Otherwise, we would be home on the homestead. But I am so excited. I am not totally with it this morning. I spent all afternoon Monday and into the night and all day yesterday without sleep. Uh, working on the Academy. I put it live yesterday morning at about 7 o'clock, 7 a.m. it went live and uh, I'm just so excited. The Trayer Wilderness Academy is a God thing, a, a very, very divine thing. Um, that was something that God has been nudging me to do since I wrote my book. When I wrote my book, I found that it was really difficult to put into words um, and, sh and, and share the skills via word that it was just so much more valuable to be able to either be in person or to do a video course. And um, I've been working on this for two years, really nonstop for the last two months, two and a half, three months. And uh, I'm just so excited. I've, I'm a web designer and programmer by trade and I have worked on a lot of projects lot of projects and I have never had a project that went so smoothly and just so so amazing I mean I ran into struggles and I had some things that stumped me but what was so cool is I go to bed at night and I would dream about them I would fix them in my sleep and I would wake up in the morning make the adjustment and just keep moving and God just kept giving me such direction on this project and I know that there is really great purpose in this and I am just so excited so right now on the Academy, you can join us and take our free bread baking course. And the link is below in the description. Um, it's TrayerWildernessAcademy.com. Um, you'll find everything there um, under uh, what we have to offer. And uh, there is also links to the Skill of the Month membership where we will be offering uh, a new skill every month to our members and educating them and helping them to uh, walk a stronger, self-reliant and preparedness walk. Uh, for those of you that know us, you know we're not doom and gloom people. Um, we just feel that it's really important for people to know these skills. Our lifestyle is just that. It is a lifestyle of preparedness. And we don't just focus casually on things. It's a day-to-day -day process thinking about our tomorrow. And that's what we um, strive to do with the Academy is encourage, inspire, and help people on their walk and on their journey. You know, you have people that don't want to uh, get involved online and ask questions. There's just not a comfort there for them. Uh, you watch a lot of videos, but there's no one to connect with. Um, and just finding valid information on the Internet can be hard. And we just want to be able to give people a comfort, comfortable location and really devote ourselves to what we uh, love to do the most, and that is help and educate and, and just really be able to be there uh, basically like a one-on-one -on -one with our audience. So please go check out the Trayer Wilderness Academy. Like I said, you can definitely get involved in our free bread baking course. Again, that's something where people... Um, have a, have attempted to make their breads, have struggled and just never returned. Others that are interested but afraid to dive in and somebody that's maybe just looking for you to hold their hand and walk them through it and that's what I did and it's just I love helping people so go check it out. Um, I think it's a great resource and there is an ebook to go along with the class so that uh, you have all the details. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, check it out. I'm just so excited. I'm still in a sleep stuber and a, a tiredness stuber here. My brain has just been spinning nonstop and it was really wild getting it live. But it was also a very giddy time for me. I'm just so excited to have finally been able to get that out there. That just means that there's so many doors going to open for us and for you. So stay tuned on that. I want to switch gears a little bit. You know how I am always talking about encouraging others and 
the importance of prayer and being good to ourselves and some things have happened over the last two weeks. One happened, I, I heard about it yesterday and it just broke my heart. And um, I've shared our walk with you. You know, we, we are walking through a little bit of a valley here. Um, and one of the most amazing parts of being in a valley is when you can see your own growth and when when you're in that spot and you find comfort in helping others and we've actually been doing that ourselves but these two incidents that occurred I just feel that I want to rally my my audience and really ask you guys to lift some people in prayer some of you may know these folks um, Starry Hilder has a YouTube channel she had an incredible biking accident that was probably a year ago two years ago I think she and I were um, on our backs at the same time so it's probably two years ago already but she's just a warrior she's a, a, a fellow Christian um, she she's had ups and downs but she's a strong person she's a strong Christian and her channel is really there to help others and she is currently going through a valley herself um, she had announced last week that she and her her husband uh, got a divorce and she uh, had to leave the homestead and I, I I know where she's at I've walked that walk and I have to say that walk is one of the things that made me who I am today the much stronger person that I am today and also the extreme faith person um, my walk with Christ changed so much when um, I went through a situation and had the rug ripped out from under me and and although Starry is very strong and she's also rallying people right now for the other folks I'm going to mention in a second um, it's a hard walk to go through all of our you know no matter what valley it is that we're walking through they're difficult they're challenging they may not you know in our mind be as as hard as some, what someone else is going through but it's still a hard time and although Starry is a warrior and such an amazing person just has a very big heart I want to ask you to lift her in prayer that although she's overcoming and she's holding on tight to Christ I think that as Christians we need to lift her up on on this journey because you know the cameras only on for 15 20 minutes there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes we're no less human than the rest of you and I just know what it's like when you go through the different emotions and when the enemy's attacking morning Chad so please lift Starry in prayer check her out if you haven't um, over on YouTube her channel name is Starry Hilder off grid I believe is what it is I'll put a link in later because I was having problems typing um, on my on my iPhone this morning here so um, the other family that I would like to have you lift up in prayer is Homesteading Ways. Maybe you're familiar with them. Paul and Sandra Vale. I just got introduced to them not very long ago and I was watching one of her videos yesterday while I was trying to sleep and sleep wasn't coming but I ended up sitting there and crying with her. Um, I watched a couple of her videos. She was pointing out wolf tracks on their homestead. They live off grid and uh, they're on they're on YouTube as Homesteading Ways and uh, Saturday she had gone out and done some shopping and her husband Paul was at home and I just can't imagine this like I said I cried with her and I'm liable to tear up now because it's been really heavy on my heart um, she came back he was working with a piece of heavier equipment and uh, she found him pinned under it and uh, needless to say he is in heaven now and she is on her own and uh, she she did a video yesterday and and shared what happened and and you know that she had found him and they tried to tried to help him she had gone to get a neighbor who's not normally there they're truck drivers and uh, I just I just can't imagine coming home to find that the mountain man is always working on things and climbing in trees and working high up and you know stuff happens and I just felt it really necessary to rally you guys in prayer for these people he'll uh, Starry Hilder did a video yesterday for them also and you know Starry mentioned that one of the things that can make our walk so much better is when we reach out and help others through our through our valleys and 
Yeah, it's really sad and uh, just touched touched a chord with me yesterday, Chad. And uh, you know, freak stuff happens. And 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 the thing is, we're not guaranteed anything. Every day, you know, is a gift, and every second is a gift. And I just. I was walking around yesterday with the Holy Spirit just so big in me. I, when I put our Academy live yesterday, there was just such a powerful feeling in me because I knew that God had led me the whole way through that. And then to watch these things and to see these people struggling, you know, I felt so blessed. But at the same time, I know what I have available to me to help them. And that is prayer. And, and prayer is such a powerful tool. And it's so true that when we are in a valley... One of the things that, that can really pull us out of that valley and keep us from getting into low places is helping others, whether it's physically going and helping somebody, whether it's praying for somebody. You know, everybody's hurting, maybe not all at the same time, but it's just such a powerful thing. And I, I just wanted to rally you guys to pray for Starry because I think that she has a really awesome ministry on her channel, and I know uh, firsthand that when you are doing what you are called to do for Christ, you're going to walk into a lot of adversity, a lot of opposition, a lot of walls, and the enemy is just going to attack in so many different ways using people closest to us. You, it's just, I've seen it. I've walked it. I understand it. I know it. I see it for what it is. And she needs prayers you know, because she's got an amazing ministry. She's reaching a lot of people. And uh, I'd just like to lift her up today. And, and Sandra Vale over at Homesteading Ways needs our prayers, their family. They, they have nine children. They were empty nesting on their off-grid homestead. And, um, you know, my heart just goes out to her uh, with her loss. And... You know, she's going to need prayer on her daily walk to uh, rise up from this and and be able to move on. I hope that she continues to, you know, use her channel in a way, um, but that's up in the air right now, and I totally understand that. But guys, if you could just lift these people in prayer, Starry and Sandra and Sandra's family, um, that was just such... A hard thing. She was so excited because she had bought strawberries for her husband, and, and that's one of his favorite things. You know, we, us women, go after our men through their bellies, and she was excited that she had gotten them that, and she had text messaged him that she had a surprise for him. You know, and just a just an awful thing to come home to. So, guys, if you would please lift them in prayer, and um, just just keep them in your prayers on a daily basis. I know that they're going to need them. You know, recovering and, and walking from situations like that is hard. Uh, one of the nice things, though, is as a Christian, um, like I said, when I was in Starry's situation, that's when I really started my strong, strong walk with, with Jesus. And it has just been so amazing. And I can't imagine my life without it. And I can't imagine walking through anything without it. Um, He's my rock, and I hope that through our channel and their channels, and that that you know you are able to pull closer because a a walk with with God is just so powerful. And my creating the Treyer Wilderness Academy, I felt His hand so much, and and see His hand so much in our lives. You know the the valley we're going through right now. God just continues to bless us, and and. We are being blessed through him. We are being blessed through other people. And it's just amazing to see what what he does. And, and with the academy, you know, getting it out there, my thing is I'm just the vessel used to create this academy and this ministry. He's using me to do that. And I'm just anxious to see what he does with it. And Chad said that video from her yesterday was taking down in one one way shape or form they Chad do you mean they took the video down or am I am I still in my sleep super I'm not understanding um, what you mean by that um, it it she's just it's just I just I just want to be able to lift people and help people um, fill me in on that Chad but uh 
you know, we can learn so much from each other, but we are here to help each other too. And that's why I wanted to rally you guys today because, you know, life is hard enough and, and when we can help brothers and sisters that are struggling, it's just really awesome. And, um, you know, sometimes through other people's valleys, we become stronger through other people's valleys. We, we become closer to God and, um, encouraged and inspired and you know sometimes God uses these awful experiences to allow us to reach people through our way of handling them too and I think that that's one of the ways that Starry is used in a great way is that you know through her adversity and her struggles God uses her to enrich people and did they take did they take the video down Chad off off of the channel good morning Deb But I have to watch my time. I'm not sure what time it is here, but the mountain boy has a meeting. And uh, forgive me um, if I'm a little out of sorts. I'm really, really tired. It took everything I had to wake up this morning. Oh, wow, they took it down. wonder why, Chad. I, I'm glad I saw it because um, my heart just goes out to her. Um, that's just such a, an awful thing to have to experience. And... Uh, I just, I just ask that you guys pray for Trayer Wilderness Academy, that God will use it and guide us and use us as vessels to reach people for Him. And I ask that we also have the opportunity to enrich people through this academy. I feel this is uh, really enriching, enrich, yeah, I'm not, I'm not able to say it, enriching our opportunities to reach people and, and giving us a bigger platform and I just, I just feel that's what I, that's what my walk is, and that's what my my purpose is on in this world. So, um, I'm starting to ramble here a little bit. So I'm just going to pause, say a prayer for you all, and for Starry and for Sandra. And um, oh, it's a beautiful day here, Deb. It is just gorgeous. Um, very blessed, and uh, was just announced in the. And <laughs> I'm done. I'm in a sleep stupor. I, I'm, I'm lacking sleep and I'm last night I was talking to Chad and, and I was literally slurring because I was that tired um, so since the words are not coming out I'm, I'm sure I'm sure um, that uh, God will walk me through this prayer so guys thank you for joining me today God just bless our audience wrap your arms around them thank them and 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 bless them for joining us and, and, and being a part of our community. And Lord, I just ask that you uh, wrap your arms around everyone today. Many are struggling and, and just bless them and heal them and love them. And Lord, I just ask that you continue to keep your arms around Starry in her journey and her ministry on YouTube. Lord, just help her through this valley. Uh, I know that she's pulling out of it and wanting to help others, but I also know that she's going to have her struggles and just ask that you're there for her. And Lord, I just ask that you're there for the Vale family. Just be there for Sandra and just help her through this. I can't imagine the pain she's going through and just be with her children. And Lord, just lift them and love them and uh, just... Um, give her peace. And Lord, I just thank you again for what you do in our lives, the blessings you continue to give, the opportunity for Treyer Wilderness Academy. And Lord, just allow that to be our door to you and a way that we can help people. And Lord, I just thank you. And I ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Guys, thank you so much. I'm sorry that I am so tired and <laughs> not communicating well today. But Lord, well, the Lord will bless us and, and, and guide us and, and use our day-to-day -day walk to enrich others, whether we are slurring and not able to get our words out or not. Um, and, and so just know that, that in your daily walk, we have the ability to reach lives, build lives, rebuild lives, and help others. And that's the main thing of what I wanted to share today is you know, no matter where we are in life, no matter what we're going through, no matter how awful it might be, 
reaching out to others and helping others can be such a blessing and, and such a rebuilder for ourselves. It rebuilds our souls. It rebuilds our, our strength. And, and that's what I wanted to convey today. Hopefully that's what came out through my sleep lacking stuber. So good morning, Carrie. I love you. So guys, I must jump off of here to get the mountain boy to his meeting. Thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, show me grace. Next time I'll be more together. Maybe I'll jump on later because the objective today is to get out in the woods and regroup and, and uh, just get some fresh air. So guys, take care. Have a great day. God bless.